Hi guys, um, welcome to the Florida Gardening Kids channel. My name is Andrew, and um, I promised that we'll talk. We would do a video on um, orchids. So today I decided to do the video because it's nice out for once. It's not too hot, but it's definitely not cold. So um, what I'm gonna go through this first video is just gonna be on orchid basics. I did a video and it was like 14 minutes long, and I crammed everything into it. So I figured I'd bore you guys, so I'm just gonna do sections. So this one's gonna be on care. Now, what do you want to do when you're looking to get an orchid? Research. Research is important. It's just like getting an animal, pretty much. You want to research temperature, light, watering, humidity, food, and soil needs. Because orchids are different on soil, so we'll talk about that. Light, number one important thing. Light, you want to keep it to low to high light. Um, orchids are epiphytic, which means that they grow in trees. So they normally get a medium to high light anyway. So you want to keep them, if you're keeping them in the house, keep them in a sunny window, but not a window that they're going to get direct full sun. Because when that happens, you could burn the leaves. Um, second thing, humidity is really important for orchids. Orchids are tropical growing. There are a few desert-like desert that don't need the humidity as much, but the majority of them do need humidity. They would like it between 70 and 80. They like it nice and humid. Um, next is temperature. Orchids like to range between, you have your cool growing, which is 50 to 60, 70 to 80, and then 80 to 90. The 50 to 60 is the cool range. The 70 to 80 is the medium, and then the, the 80 to 90 is the high range. And with all that, you really want humidity with all those. Next, I'm going to talk about soil requirements. Orchids are, um, are two major types of orchids. There's epiphytic, and then there's terrestrial. Epiphytic means that they grow up in trees such as this um, catalea. I have it growing on a piece of fern bark. As you can see, it's on a piece of fern, and it's just wrapping its roots on, and it's just growing. This is epiphytic, they grow up in trees. Now the second kind is um, terrestrial. Right here I have um, my um, epidendrum. Um, these grow in soil. This one I have growing in a potting media. Um, you also want to make sure you do your research on that, because there's another variety that they will grow on rocks, too, if given the chance. Um, so we covered light, um, humidity, temperature, soil. We're going to talk about watering needs. It's very important with orchids, you want to water twice. The reason I say twice is you're going to notice that when you get the roots, you're going to have this dry, you're going to feel it and it's going to feel dry and it's white. When you water orchids, the first time you water, the roots are going to change color and they're going to turn into green almost. That first watering is to wake up the roots and get them active. The second time is you're going to water it through. You want it coming out the bottom and you water, want to water it for two minutes. The second reason, the second watering is because now that the roots are activated through the first watering, the second watering they're going to start absorbing the water. Because orchids they don't absorb absorb water on the first watering. So you really want to water twice. One to wait, first time to wake up the roots, the second time to get the roots to start to suck up water. So those are the basic, oh, fertilizer. With fertilizer on orchids, you want to use a slow release fertilizer, preferably a granule, because the type of media you're using, which is like the orchid um, bark and all that, it will just run through. So you want to use a slow release fertilizer. That brings up another point. Um, growing media for orchids. I have a bin down here. You want to go to your um, local um, garden center, Lowe's, Home Depot, any garden center. They should have um, orchid media, which is um, pretty much just wood chips, vermiculite, coal, um, perlite, and um, stuff like that. You want to keep the potting mix 
um, light. You don't want to use potting soil unless it states that it is a terrestrial or a ground orchid that will that likes soil. Because if you use soil on anything like these, any of the tropicals that grow up in trees, the epiphytics, you will give them root rot. Root rot is pretty much too much water and you rot the roots out and the plant loses roots and dies. So you don't want to do that. So those are the basics on how to grow orchids. Those are run down. Now in the next video I'm going to talk about good beginner types of orchids. So tune in for the next video which should be right next to it. So um, I'll see you in a few minutes.